In this video, we're going to focus on the slope of a line. What is the slope of a line? The slope of a line is the average rate of change between two points on the same line. To find the slope of a line at points x1, y1 and x2, y2, we're going to use what is called the slope formula. y of 2 minus y of 1 divided by x of 2 minus x of 1. I will talk more on that later. But in this video, I want to focus on the first part of the definition. The slope of a line. The slope of a line also shows the relationship between the variables. Relationship between variables. The slope of a line also shows the direction slash indicates the direction of the line and data. Understanding the slope, understanding the relationship between the variables, understanding the direction is very important when it comes to chapter 11, section eight, which will be the last lecture of the semester when we're dealing with correlation and regression. In this case, for algebra, the slope is the average rate of change and it indicates the direction between the variables. And there are four types of linear slopes. We have a positive slope and positive means it goes up. As X increases, Y increases. A negative slope is like going downhill. Positive is uphill, negative is downhill. We have what is the zero slope, which is a constant line. So it doesn't go up and it doesn't go down. It stays the same. And then we have something that is undefined. Think about it in terms of the way you walk. You can walk up a hill. You can walk down a hill. You can walk on a straight floor, but you cannot walk on a wall. This right here is not possible. That's why it is undefined. Walking up is possible. Walking down is possible. Walking on a straight floor where the elevation does not change is possible. But on a wall, uh-uh. And we're going to look at pictures of our slopes. And we want to determine the slopes of each of these lines below. The first one, this right here is a horizontal line. You can walk on a line like a floor. This is a zero slope. And I want you to remember this. This is a horizontal line. The slope of a horizontal line is zero. This right here is a positive slope. Is like walking up a steep hill or going up the escalators at Broadway Junction for those who live in Brooklyn. This right here is a vertical line. You cannot walk on a wall like this. That is impossible. Therefore, this is undefined. This line right here is a vertical line. And the slope of a vertical line is undefined. And this last one is going to be a negative slope because you're walking down a hill. And this also shows you the direction of the line. The first one, the direction is a constant. It stays the same. The second one, the direction is up. 
The third one, this direction, the way it's going, well, it's undefined. And the last one, we're going down. All right, guys, hope that made sense on how to determine the slope of a line by looking at the pictures. I want you guys to remember this right here because now what we're gonna do is, in the next video, we're gonna use the slope formula to find the slope of the line between two points that are on the same line. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Take care.